Today I'm going to show you how to generate millions of random data. Millions of millions of random data. Let's say you're a data analyst and you want to actually get some data to teach a student on a particular topic in the analytic world. But you start the internet, you couldn't get anyone. Or you, get, you actually got some, but it's not your test. Why don't you just go and create your own data set? You can do that in Excel. Excel is a powerful tool that can actually help you do that. All you need is to know the rules of database, the rules of how to create a database, table rules. So if you can do that, it's up, you're good to go. So all you need is just the basics of database. So now I want to show you what I'm talking about. Now if we go to the lookup right here, we have a table that is named product. All we have is the product related stuff. Now we have product ID, to the product we have the price right here now we have customer the customer ID and the customer name and we have sales rep then the country they cover right here now we have the shipping date so all of these are table so if you can segment your table like this then you are going to go to generate your data now let's, let me take you to this engine part of it this engine part is what is helping you to actually generate this data to this very form that you see right here so we're gonna get this whole stuff away from here because we don't need it so we can actually create ours so all we need to do is just to click control all down arrow then hit on the lid and they are off so we don't need that so this engine we're going to get all those ones away from here delete them then we we'll delete those ones delete them that we now create from the scratch so how do you think so now create from the scratch so what we do is this we start from what start from zero then now 0 0.2 is going to be accumulating by two now 0 0.2 0 0.3 uh, 0 0.4 sorry then 0 0.6 0 0.8 then the last one is going to be one here we go one. Now, how did I get this? I'm going to take this one off and actually create from the scratch for you. All you just need to do is to add equal to this number concatenated. Just a concatenation. Oh, sorry. No. No, no, no. Then, it's just a concatenation of this and this. Add them together. You click on enter you have it now we go back and click on equal to concatenate this with this then we hit enter here we go that is how we actually got everything so i can't do it from this so that our video will not take much and get boring so the next thing we have to get is to get the ship shipping date and the other date right here so we go to our lookup and click on it. This is it. Pick five of it. Then drop it right here. Then the product ID, go to product and click on this. Copy it. Go to the engine. Then drop to the product ID. Customer ID, you go to the customer. You copy. Go to the engine, go to the engine, and you drop your customer ID. Then the quantity of customer purchase depends on what you really want to add. 500, I can add 5, I can add well, something, I can add this, I can add 2000, whatever, randomly, just choose. Now the sales rep ID, now you go to the lookup, pick it up right here, then you go down to this place and you drop it right here. That is what you need. Now we are done with this step. Now we can actually check it out. How does it go? But before then, we have to actually name our engine right here. So I'm not going to include this one now willingly. I'm just going to take it off. Later, I'm going to show you how to actually solve that problem. Should you encounter such a problem, you know how to solve it. Now we're going to name this. So we name it engine. We name this uh, engine with A. Now. Having done this, we can actually go to this place and generate random number equal to 
round then close the bracket and hit enter now here we go we've just got our first random number then we'll copy it down to the last one right here we'll leave it and we'll copy it down that is all we need to do so now what we need to do is to just to go and verify what we have down there so down here we have random number to 5000 now here is it to 5000 is 5001 what is to 5000 right here so we can now go back to the top and check the other days right here use we look up to look this up inside our engine it's gonna help us to bring it up now let's see how that one works now we can actually go type equal to then if you look up hit it and look this one up in what where do you want to look it up in engine then it's the engine with a then equal then hit tab then put your comma and what is it three comma approximate match boom let me explain now this is the lookup we're looking this one up inside this array engine then the column we need is the column is column three the lookup is it true or false? Is it approximate match or exact match? So we need exact approximate match. So we pick up true. Now here is the third one we actually choose. You actually chose. This is the third one. One, two, three. Should you don't know what lookup is or what V lookup is all about. Now we can just go right here and click right here with this sign. Then copy it down and change the numbers. Then change this one to what? Change this one to four. Then we change this one to four five. Change this one to five. Change this one to six. Change this one to six. Then change this one to seven. Change this one to eight. Then this one to eight now this one is not working because it's on death so we can just click here and change it to general general now it's working but this one doesn't work never mind we did it so we're going to solve it so click enter and copy it down so we have five thousand randomly generated data now what we need to do now is actually to go and solve this problem go back to our engine so this is the problem right here so how do we solve it we go to what we go to formula then click on name and choose this our engine click on edit then we'll click this we're going to see that it wasn't included we're going to highlight it and come and include it then click ok then close and go back to the generator the problem is being solved can you see that that is what it is now we can just check how many of this is being generated by clicking equal to count if then go back to the generator then M to M then comma then go back to engine take this one off then we're checking for this we close hit enter we have 120 of it now we copy it down so it's going to give us this this is what it gives us this one we have this one to be one wow, the 970 we have 109 and all of that now we can just aggregate it so now it gives us five tiles and we have five tiles on randomly generated data right now so now we have our data source what do we do we want to get this data from here to this data source this is the first data we've actually actually generated so we want to generate data to millions so we can actually do that it's easy now what we need to do is just to highlight from here to here and click on copy then go down to your data source right here drop and click on home go to paste or paste and click on paste picture or you can actually just click on 
um, your alt h v s t alt h v s t will actually give you that then click on value then paste here we go not in no formula the formula is not actually part of it now we are done with this the next thing we're going to try to do we have to generate more of this data right then we can actually copy this hold your what hold your control and add it to this then this is source 2 now go back to what to engine so we want to change everything we have here we have to change it go to look up so we've picked this one two three four five so we are done with this now we have to choose from here the fifth one then we copy go back to your engine then we replace it drop it down then go back to go back to look up this is what we have we've used this um we've used okay now we have to come from here because all of them are not the same it's not up to 10 so you can still include two now we copy from here go to engine drop so we've changed that go back to look up copy we've actually done with this now we start from here go to engine and what and drop we've changed it now go back copy from here go to engine drop then we cannot change this we cannot change our number here to 420 450 200 1 7 90. now we will able to generate this to be 129 now automatically as we are actually adding is adding up now if we go back to our generator everything has changed updated to the rest to the recent one <clears throat> now for it to just get it now if i add zero here we're going to see zero in many places can you see the zero here so it has been updated so we'll go back to it and change it to what change it to 100 then this is what we get so we have 100 now we can actually copy this again to our source 2 source 2 now we highlight and delete then now drop this sorry go back to the source and we copy then go to source 2 then we drop now this is what i'm talking about i purposely did this if you can see it has been lookup which means everything copies with what with the formula that was why we paste value we didn't paste just like that so now it's copied with this so it can it does not link to what to the engine it cannot give us what we want so what do we do we have to what right click uh, we have to click and go back it's still under that copy mode go back to it and click on paste pressure click on value and hit ok now here we go we now have 1000 data so i just use that amount to actually generate few data so you can actually go like by doing this and click here and just generate maybe customer or sales sales one then when you say sales one you click off and click back to it and drag it down until you get to the million number and you leave it that is how you can actually get this and when you want to create, create your random number now you can actually create it and just double click and it will copy it down straight that is how i actually did it i hope this very tutorial actually help you to generate data randomly to be used in your analysis now you can actually look data we have in this source up now we have this sales if we have to look up this now by typing vlookup equal to v lookup then we are looking this up 
this other okay okay let's look at this customer comma in what this customer we're looking it up in look up here comma then true comma then we have exact match close it then hit enter now it gives us this and take it down okay fine take it down and actually come down here and we have to pin it down so that when it copies do not copy the same thing down you can use your F4 but mine is not working I wish it was working hit enter then go back here again now here we go we have name of individual this name was this we this is what actually helped us this did this what helped us to get this of individual down to the last one so we can actually use that same format to look the word to look the product id so you can try this one yourself and see how it works so we can now get this data to uh, maybe our pivot table wherever to start the analysis and all of that or we can actually use uh, power bi to actually help us to true analysis on this so i don't know what you think about this if you think it's very very helpful please do subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel and keep it growing i'm going to be dropping another video on how you can actually do so many things in excel and i'm going to be creating videos on power bi subscribe and keep coming to my channel thank you thanks for watching